Hi everyone, good morning. So the first thing I do is check my emails. I have my student email, my personal, and also my work email to check just to make sure that I don't miss anything and that I reply to all of the messages in a timely manner. And also just to make sure that my class isn't canceled because we do have it via Zoom. And then the next thing I do is take out my night guard so I can brush my teeth. These night guards are from Remy and I find that they're super comfortable because they're really thin, but they also create a really nice barrier between your teeth, your bottom teeth and your top teeth so it doesn't grind at night. I decided to partner with Remy because I actually did get my bonding for my teeth done last November. I will have a video here if you guys are interested. I broke down the cost and everything and I know you guys are like, Jenny, your teeth are so perfect. Like, I got them done. But I didn't want to get veneers because my teeth were already really good. I just needed to fill in in certain places. So I talk about that in the video. But I did tell you guys also that I didn't end up getting the night cards because it was going to be about $1,700. And I was just not willing to pay that. And Remy is such a great affordable option because you can do it from home. I just think this is really time efficient. It's cost efficient. And it's really convenient for me because I have been busy with school and work and like I can't just go to a dentist's office at like midnight after I'm done studying So it was really great that I was able to do this on my own time and also send it in on my own time So I thought that that was really great and it fits perfectly with the impressions All you have to do is go online you order an impressions kit and it comes with a blue and a white clay All you have to do is mix that together and then put it in the mold And then you have to do this twice because it ensures that you're going to get a perfect fit So I think that that's really cool that you know They really want you to be comfortable and they want you to be satisfied with your products so these products are dental grade so i think that that's really great because you guys know there are so many brands out there that are just trying to make a quick buck and it's really like uncertain about the products that they have whether it's official whether they are approved so i think that that's really good that remy does state that on their website i just put them in at night about 30 minutes before i go to bed because that's how you can ensure that they are a comfortable fit and then you won't feel them by the time it's time to go to bed so i really like that and it's been really helping my teeth and i feel like sometimes i was waking up with pain on my teeth because i was grinding them at night but i wasn't really noticing i would just wake up with a sore mouth and then now it actually doesn't do that so i'm really happy about that i also wanted to mention that they do have a program called the remy club and this is really great if you guys want your night guards renewed because if you're using them every night they kind of get a little bit nasty towards like you know after a few months so after every six months you can just pay a 50 dollars fee and then they will send you new ones which i think is really great so Check them out if you guys are interested. I know that it has helped me a ton if you guys have gotten bonding. I know a few of you guys told me on that video that you were going to get it done after seeing how easy it was. Again, I will have a link down below as well as a coupon code so you guys can check that out.
Hi everyone, we're gonna go take some photos. I'm gonna bring my tripod just in case my boyfriend doesn't get it right. So yeah, I'm just wearing this Zara bodysuit and then my jeans. I am, oh, I'm so happy I found these jeans. And then my Zara flats, of course. I got some sandals, but I actually don't really like how they look. So kind of disappointed with that, but it's okay. We'll, we'll try something else. I also got some from YesStyle, but I got the wrong size. And then I'm wearing this as my bag today. I don't know if I like it or not, so. We're just gonna try it out today and see how it goes and i will link this tripod down below as well it extends up to i think 45 inches which is really cool because you can basically get a full body shot with this and it gets like longer and longer so yeah i'll see you guys later bye Malibu here. Holy moly! Wow. Okay, so I got the lobster mac and cheese, and I have an Arnold Palmer here. Thank you. A lot. <laughs> mm. Is that you? Is that you, Louie? Louie, Louie? <laughs> so dramatic. Good girl. Hi, Louie. Look at that tail. That's such a happy cat. You are so adorable. Oh, good girl. Wow. Were you taking a nap the whole time? The whole time we were gone? Oh, eye boogers. Let's go. I want to show you guys what I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I do get the influencer Ipsy bag, so I thought it would be cool to just show you guys what we get. And uh, yeah, and then we can go from there. So first we got these brushes. These are from Lancer and these are actually really great quality. I think the brand is, uh, oh no, it's called La Russe. Yeah, La Russe. So they have different kinds. I use this one for more thicker foundations. This one for my under eyes. And then it also came with this one. You can use this for like a blush brush and then this one i probably won't be using because i don't know what to use it for and then we also got the uh Ciate transparent powder and then this one this is a youth performance oxygen glow what is this uh super smoothing radiance eye care feels like it's really small and then we also got this illuminati or no is it yeah it's called illuminati quad palette so pretty and then we also got Huda Beauty. This is the Mauve Obsessions. This one is so pretty. I love it. And then we also got, oh, this eye mask, which is so pretty. It says Ipsy right there, but I do have lash extensions, so I can't use it. And then we also got this little makeup bag. I thought it was really cute. It's just black, but I don't know why it's showing up like blue. And then in here, these are like the main products for the glam bag. 
and I got the Smashbox Oil Shine and Control. I have the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. You can probably use that for like my lower lashes. I also got the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I love this stuff. It works really well, but I haven't had a chance to like buy it in a long time because I have so many other products. And then also this Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum, which I'm really excited to try. I think Sunday Riley is generally really expensive so i'm interested to see how this works and what it's supposed to do i haven't really read much on it but it says apply one to two pumps in the evening to clean dry skin and then you also got this makeup bag i love it it's so pretty it's like it reminds me of like zodiac almost it's just black with like gold i think this is really cute for a makeup bag and it says oh that is so cute it says ipsy right there that's so cute and it says ipsy here so yeah really excited i think this box is so so good and let me show you guys my huge box here this is what mine came in and i also wanted to tell you guys that i got this candle which smells divine but it broke and it says ipsy there so yeah it's a black candle it reminds me of like a musky kind of scent um i just love like i love the shimmer i'm excited to try this one i think i saw someone get it online so it's like the perfect everyday shade palette and then also excited to try this head of beauty i love her palettes i think i actually already have this if i'm not mistaken I need to check my or do i have the orange one i might have the orange one and not this one wow these are so pretty i love cranberry shades in the autumn time so i probably will reach for this um a few times i love it i mostly love these this one that one I used to wear these shades pretty often actually when I was like into makeup but yeah that's everything I just wanted to show you guys and then my boyfriend got this for me you guys saw yesterday when he went uh, grocery shopping at Bristol Farms so I'm gonna clean up and then I have some work to do on my computer I also just have my cameras here because I was debating on which one to use to film the other day but I ended up using this one per usual and this is the Canon G7X Mark II and you guys know I got this one recently actually I think earlier this year so i want to say march or something i don't remember but i remember i sold my old one this year and then i got a new one so yeah i just buy them whenever i want them and i like it yeah this one's really good my sony this one's also really good i love this one for photos um i haven't used it for photos in a while but when we're on vacation and i'm doing like self timer and stuff i actually really like this one because it smooths your skin my lens is all messed up. I want to get a different lens for this camera. I also have my GGI Osmo, but I haven't actually used that one. It's like the tiny pocket one. I might sell that one because I don't really use that too often, or at least I haven't at all. And then I also have my gimbal. I have like a lot of tech stuff for someone who doesn't even use all of it. <laughs> but yeah, love my cameras. But as you guys can see, I'm filming on my iPhone. So I do think that this one is really good for vlogging, but lately I feel like it's better to just, for me at least, I like being a little bit more low-key about vlogging. And um, I don't know, I just feel like having a camera sometimes is a bit much. But if you want your quality to look super good, then obviously you just bring your camera wherever, who cares? But for me, I just, lately I've been loving my iPhone. And I have the iPhone 11, so I love the footage on it. And it doubles as like... I mean i can just take photos with it as well so just one less thing that i have to carry and i've actually really been enjoying like not having to bring it because of that so yeah that's just my two cents on it um i'm gonna get to editing and i also have some homework to do so i will probably just be doing that today the vice presidential debate is today as well so we're gonna watch that um i'll go ahead and just clean this up because i only kept it around just to show you guys but i will throw the trash away i'm sorry this is a little bit messy but you guys can see I wanted to show you my dossier perfume collection i have um one more in the like box oh i have one in here because i have to show the box every time i am filming a video just so you guys can see what it looks like but i have six perfumes i have this one floral two floral three oriental woody eight this is like one of my faves let me show you guys i think um woody eight is actually similar to la labo's perfume if i'm not mistaken yeah, this one's very similar to La Labo's perfume. And I know that they have like a whole process and like they can make the perfume in front of you and stuff. But I mean, for the price of these, you cannot beat it. They're just so inexpensive. I have Woody 7. I think this one is Black Orchid. Oh no, this one is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. That one's Flower Bomb. 
I like memorize the sentence. Floral five, this is Chloe. And you guys can see, or is floral six Chloe? No, no, floral five is Chloe. Um, and then here I have my actual Chloe perfume. I get one every single, um, like every other year, usually. Let me just spray it on. Like by Christmas, I would usually need to buy a new one, but I've been trying to also use this one, which is why I'm not out of the Chloe perfume yet. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I don't remember when I, I don't even remember buying this one, honestly. I don't know like when I would have gotten it. Like, I just don't, I can't remember. That's so weird. I, I really have like no idea. Like I'm trying to think about yeah and then chloe i got this one at ulta last year well like one of my christmas um luxury hauls i featured it in there or just like a christmas haul so yeah i have like six here they sent me two for each time we did a collaboration so we've done one already and then they sent me this one for this month and then also two more for november so really excited for that and my niece bb is right here with my luggage tag so pretty and yeah that's pretty much all that i have in here so i just wanted to show you guys my perfume collection because that's all i have Mando. Mando. So I'm gonna try to finish that so I can ride on my Peloton. Um, I was initially supposed to go on earlier, but I didn't end up doing that because I was watching a Netflix drama, which is so bad, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna edit the thumbnail for my video because I think I wanna put it live right now. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly.
Mm-hmm. Punish, punish.